the LAPD apparently was tampering with voice recording equipment in many of their patrol cars in an effort to avoid uh, being monitored while on duty. Uh, this happened, this was extremely widespread, and an inspection by the LAPD, uh, investigators found that half of roughly 80 cars in one South LA patrol had been tampered with. They were missing antennas. Also, the police wear little transmitters on their belts. Many times they were turned off or otherwise disabled. Uh, and basically, this is so that they can pretty much do what they want to do without any repercussions because nothing's being recorded. I'm going to guess that this isn't going to uh, surprise any of you guys because mm -hmm. we talk about this kind of thing constantly. What? Corruption at the LAPD? No. Yeah. No, it's like taking the electronic fifth, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, right. like we, we've been, obviously like, it, it's not necessarily the case that the police are being much more brutal than they used to be, but we're certainly seeing more of it. And so people care more than they used to. And so we've fought to try to restrict that in some ways, like f with these uh, in-car recording things, the lapel cameras and stuff like that. But that only works if the penalties for disabling mm -hmm. that or trying to get around those are as bad as what they would get if it was actually evidence and could convict them of whatever they'd done. And so we fought to get those things put in place, but we have to fight now to make sure that those who try to circumvent those those uh, devices are, are harshly disciplined. Yeah. yeah, well, they didn't discipline anyone. They didn't even do an investigation. Charlie Beck, who's the police chief here, said, and maybe, I, you know, he, he made a call. I don't know if it's the right call or not, but he said, we're not going to investigate this. We're going to just make sure it doesn't happen again, and we're going to warn all these officers, and we're going to do checks at the end and begin, beginning and end of each shift. But That's he didn't even, good. But he didn't even tell the head of the police commission, which gets oversight of that, that this problem even happened. So. Yeah. But here we have police officers actively uh, disabling the monitoring programs that are supposed to be there for their oversight. And specifically, this is what gets me, it was something like 80 cars, so obviously this is a concerted effort, mm -hmm. and it's specifically in South communities, Southern LA communities that already have uh, a so history. The rich area of LA, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That already have right. a history. That was sarcasm for those <laughs> yeah. not from the area. Not from here, um, yeah, that, that, that areas of South Central LA LA, like the Watts community, that have a history of police brutality and uh problems with the police. Yeah, on an issue like this, we need to be brought in right away. This equipment is for the protection of the public and of the officers. To have people who don't like the rules to take it upon themselves to do something like this is very troubling. Yeah, and I, I don't think that we should be too surprised by this reaction. I, I feel like it, like people are, like I said, they're paying much more attention to what the cops are doing, and I feel like the cops feel like they're being assaulted. I mean, when you've like an entrenched culture like that, and you're telling them, no, we don't trust you anymore. You have to have dash cams and antennas in your cars and lapel cameras and stuff like that. It's not surprising that they would try to get around it. It doesn't mean that they were beating people while they were off. Maybe they were taking time off. Maybe they were going to strip clubs, or in some cases, they've been caught with the dash cams having sex you know, on the side of the road and stuff like that. So we don't know what it is. And I don't care if it was, if it was murder or otherwise. Like, we need to be able to watch them until we can trust them once again. And whether we're statistically accurate to distrust them, the public doesn't trust them, especially in South LA. They need to earn that back before they earn the right to not have these recording devices. John, John I'm sorry. I hear you. Um, but I mean, one of the best strip clubs and the best sex to have with local citizens in South Central LA. I mean, it's, it's pretty <laughs> obvious. I, and I you've only read about that, right? Yeah, I just think it's pretty obvious the reasons why they're doing it. Yes, we can't prove it, I get it, so that makes <laughs> sense. But we can kind of prove it. I mean, imagine if you're a bank teller and you start disabling the equipment that monitors what you're doing with all yeah. this money that you control. Yeah. Do you, does, does the superior bank head of the commission of banking go, you know what? J.R. Jackson was, uh, was, was disabling the equipment that watches and monitors what's in his cash drawer, but he probably wasn't doing anything. <laughs> what other job can you do that? And it's very indicative of what you're doing, but they go, well, we can't tell. We can't really prove it. We'll, we'll start I, checking it at the end of each one of J.R.'s shifts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I did, none of that was on video. I disabled it before, <laughs> before you actually spoke. I, I don't think we should gloss over J.R.'s point, though, because think about it. If you were just a cashier at a drugstore and you mm -hmm. did one person, if one person at Walgreens did that, you would be fired like that. Of course. So this really does go to show how systemic this is. And not only is it systemic, it's one of the only places. I mean, I could see the government also, you know, someone in Congress you know, doing something that disabled something and them getting away with it. But beyond that... <laughs> not Congressman McAllister. Not, the not that, right, exactly. The video exactly. was running. Uh, but, but short of that, I don't know where else you could do something so blatantly against what your job is and get yeah, away with Wall it. Wall Street, I guess. That's probably it. Maybe. <laughs> right, so it's all the big ones. Uh, politicians, <laughs> Wall Street, cops. 